mean, do we still have an issue with uh, sort of silos within the buying teams where TV looks after TV, digital does digital, everyone's still specialised or has that changed now? I think, as you say, there's two, two questions. One, I guess, strategically and, and then second, operationally. And I think um, what we're seeing is operationally more and more moves towards console based, um, automated sort of buying. So. The challenge really is how do we make sure that, that, that the people who are thinking about how they plan and how they talk to clients can translate that activity into sort of more system-based activation. So there is still some silos, but increasingly we're seeing more media made available programmatically and therefore a operational move to more, more digital-based trading. Do you think that um, the world will be more digital when we come out of this lockdown? I think in, in, invariably it is. Just, uh, you know, even if you look at your own door and the, um, the amount of deliveries coming, coming through from Amazon, I think everyone has suddenly become far more accustomed to using technology in their personal lives as well as their working lives. We were talking before about um, my mother and father now use online banking. They use you know, WhatsApp for video calling. So just general adoption of technology i think in in 10 years you know in 10 weeks has probably done what, what, what probably would have previously taken 10 years so generally i think people are just becoming far far happier using technology i think people are just generally consuming far more content digitally and i think for for us as an industry we need to work out how we can make the the buying and selling of that media far more uh integrated across the myriad you described so people can say look i want to target you know audience a across multiple channels in one system rather than having to recreate audience a in multiple systems to access multiple buy points and um you know i, I think we, we joked before about amazon prime and how it's got the most amazing supply chain of all different you know everything you could ever want you kind of wonder what what you know how would that work in the media world how, how could we have a a prime button for media buyers that when you could buy the TV or you could buy the outdoor that you can you can assemble the campaign around a customer rather than assembling a campaign around the media outlets and I, I kind of think that will just go faster and faster. I mean what would there be like one single thing that you need that would make holistic planning and trading much easier for you? Yeah effectiveness is obviously the uh, the most important thing you know clients will not spend any more uh, many of us, we can't make those campaigns effective, and you know, effective has a you know a long-term effect and, and, and a short-term effect. So I don't, you know, I think the measurement world's got to you know got to move fast to catch up with the with the, with the new the, the American West Coast uh, brands that come in. Um, a standard supply would be amazing. You know, as you said, we we get different supplies, different cuts of audience from different vendors, and slightly different systems and slightly different ways. So you don't have a a total read across um you know and then and then you're back to how many systems do you have to use or how many phone calls or, or faxes do you have to make to get that activity live so you know i think the the industry is is ripe for disruption and um you know i guess getting that supply side super organized getting the buy side organized in that way we can uh, really deliver on audiences rather than campaigns